Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something completely different. Um, sorry that you won't be seeing my face for the intro, but I didn't feel like putting makeup on. So we're just going to get into this. Um, this is going to be a video on my makeup collection and how I organize and store everything. So if you want to know how I do that, please keep on watching. Okay, so starting from my newest addition to my organization collection, I got this little um, square organizer from um, TJ Maxx yesterday actually i also got this cute acrylic organizer there as well for my lipsticks so on the bottom here we're just gonna go a row by row or square by square um this is where i keep my fenty lipsticks and lip glosses i have one of the new colors the original brown shade and uh the original gloss bomb here are just a few of my favorite liquid lipsticks that are not Jeffree Star besides the lip ammunitions. Um, so, hold on, let me get in focus. Sorry, guys. Um, so, here are some Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. And next to that are the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Uh, this is just a Fenty. Uh, I don't, I think these are called the Mademoiselle lipsticks, I'm not sure. Um, the lip ammunitions in a few of his, uh, limited edition shades besides Starfish here. Um, Anastasia MAC, uh, this is a Kat Von D Glimmer Veil or something. I don't know what they're really called. I think they're called the Glimmer Veil. Uh, Maybelline, I think. Yeah, Maybelline, um, what are you? Revlon, and Kat Von D. I don't use uh, regular lipsticks often, but I do have a few of them, and I really like the packaging on these, which is why I keep them up here. This is the KKW fragrance in the body. It smells so good. Right here, I just have a cute little fake succulent, and a few of my Kathleen Lights, uh, are KL polishes by Kathleen Lights. I have broccoli and chocolate in the back, which is just a really pretty brown shade. I have a few more of these coming in the mail. The, this company is going out of business, so they're doing a huge sale right now. So if you like nail polishes and you like some of these shades, check them out. Um, I just bought this yesterday. This is just a carton of uh, Beauty Blenders or the Van Beauty, Bl brand Beauty Bakery, sorry. This cute little thing here full of sponges is from TJ Maxx as well. I think it was like $16.99. So up here I just have, I keep my earrings dangling right here. And just because I have nowhere else to put them. And it seemed like a good place to store them. Um, right here I have a KKW fragrance in white uh, crystal gardenia. And then back there is the Jeffrey X Morphe sponge collection. Moving on to my um, bookshelf. This is the bottom row of my bookshelf here. I keep a full tower. I think this fits 80 liquid lipsticks, including the top. Um, so this is 80 of the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipsticks. Uh, oops, something is blocking it. Velour liquid lipsticks. I have obviously a few missing. Uh, in purses or wherever so yeah I have most of his shades but not all they are organized by collection so obviously you can see limited edition collections here then his regular line here on the top is just the equality bundle which I love for line work and stuff like that super super fun to play with um, this is just an empty box of the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. I don't really use that palette often, but it is aesthetically pleasing, so I kept the box. Um, right here are just a few of my favorite or um, nicely packaged um, palettes that I have. So I have Anastasia right here, the new Riviera palette, Subculture, um, the Modern Renaissance a few Kat Von D palettes uh, right next to it, 
Like I said, I really don't use her stuff that often. Her palettes kind of suck. The pigmentation's not all there. I do like her blush palette though, uh, from the Fetish Collection. But other than that, they're not my fave. I just really like the packaging. Um, a few of my Jeffree Star palettes here, Androgyny and Thirsty. A ton of Juvia's Place palettes. I love Juvia's Place. They are so good and so affordable. Um, which one? This one? This one right here, the Warrior 2. This one's a new one for me, so I'm excited to have it. And then a few Morphe palettes right here. I had the Jaclyn Morphe palette right here, but it was kind of a tight squeeze, so I took it out. So, yeah. Moving on to the second row of my bookshelf. I have the Alien palette on display in the back right here. The Orb of Light palette by Black Moon Cosmetics. This is new to me. I'm so excited for this palette. You have no idea. Um, this is like a little stainless steel um, oops, ring dish. I don't have any rings in it right now. But yeah. This is a Anastasia PR box. No, they did not send me PR. But um, they were selling these boxes for $60 on their site. It was like a Black Friday thing. And they brought it back for high demand. This is the Dark Nude collection. And I liked the box so much, I kept it on display. Back here is just pictures of me and my boyfriend. A pretty little rose that um, a friend made for me years ago. Um, a postcard from Jeffree Star and a cute little note someone left me for our work from work that a customer wrote. Um, right here is the Lead Sugar palette and behind it I just have an empty box from Black Moon Cosmetics. This is their autumn trio that they had, I wanna say like a year or two ago. <coughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Behind it is just a little cup full of stuff um, that I keep hidden. It just has like pins and extra ponytail holders and stuff like that. Moving on to the third shelf that I have my stuff on. Um, this is just a really, you can see, a reflection of everything. Hello guys. Um, right here is just a really pretty, oh goodness, really pretty um, jewelry box that my family gave me for Christmas. Um, behind here is all my Jeffree Star postcards. I obviously have the pink one up, which is ironic because I don't really like pink, but it matched everything else. Um, right here is my cute little soap dish I got from the Target dollar spot, I think, two years ago. And I just keep sponges in here. These are the Real Technique sponges, and I have a um, beauty blender soap in the back. Right here is just a cute little um, candy tray I got from Michaels last year. This is just a coffin candy tray. And in it, I keep a ton of my perfumes, so, yeah. And then right here is just my watch. Behind the coffin tray is the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection, so, yeah. And also, by the way, I just want to point out that I know my lights look a little ratchet. Um, they're from the dollar store, but they do the job, so I don't really mind them that much. Moving on to the top row. Um... This one's a little bit of a work in progress because I just moved a ton of stuff from this shelf onto that cube thing you saw at the beginning. But right here is just some knockoff Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. These are Dragon Star. I don't recommend them. I don't recommend buying fake products of any brand. They're not good for you. You don't know what ingredients are in them. But they were gifted to me and I just put them on this plate because they're kind of cute. Um, in here I'm going to put like a ton of nail polishes, like I said I still had some more KL polishes coming in the mail so they're probably going to go in this little dish. Behind here um, is a picture of me and my little boy when he turned one. The box for the Morphe X Jeffree Star brush collection. Right here is a cute little cup a friend got me for Christmas. She, I think this is the Opal House brand from Target. And in here are just like lip glosses. Um, some lipsticks that are like too tall to fit in a standard thing um, so yeah I keep all my tall stuff there in the back is a uh, hear no evil speak no evil see no evil instant burner I love that thing I got it from a store that was closing it is probably my favorite instant burner on the side right here is a jewelry dish someone got me one of my friends got me for uh, Christmas um, it is two um, arms 
right here. I honestly thought it was one hand and it freaked me out at first, but it's hands um, cupping. I don't really know how to say this. <laughs> it's just two hands cupping each other. Um, so for the dish right here, it's just a sage smudge stick that I burned a while back. I just stuck it in there and yeah, I kind of just hang my jewelry on there. And then going down all the way to the bottom, this is just kind of my drunk stuff, my drunk, my junk stuff. Um, as you can see, I had a little, let me zoom in real quick. Uh, I had a little organizer for some more of those fake Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Some of, well, most of the stuff that was taken out of there were put in the little honeycomb thing you saw at the beginning. And yeah, so I keep extra makeup and things like that in here and I just have candles and boxes and lights obviously and whatnot in here. So next to that I just have like a few things like I have a really cool, I'm going to do a video with this later so I don't really want to say too much of what it is but basically I keep like video ideas in here, notebook, you can see um, my little stash of Fruit snacks, cool. Self tanner, um, obviously lotion, stuff like that in that box. And then on the top of my bookshelf is where I keep a ton of my um, boxes from Jeffree Star. Actually, these are all boxes from Jeffree Star. I just put them on display. So, yeah. Moving on to the desk now. Okay, so this is my desk in all of its horrid glory. This is just a vanity someone gave me and I repainted it, but I painted it with a really shitty paint. This is a matte black paint. So as you can see, everything gets on it. I should have bought a glass top to put on it, but I didn't. But I am gonna get like a chin reflector to put on here, so it doesn't really matter anyway. So excuse the mess. So I guess we'll start here. So in the back right here, I just keep my concealers, mascaras, um, primers, uh, lip liners, and eyeliners in this cute little, it's a pencil thing I'm assuming for your desk. So that's kind of where I keep all my stuff right now. Um, right here are just my candy dishes from Michael's I bought last Halloween. They bring these out every Halloween, so if you missed them, you can get them again, I'm sure. So I keep blending tools, like blending brushes um, right here, pencil brushes here. I keep some face brushes in here and then like uh, flat brushes and liner brushes and spoolies and brow brushes here. My most used face, face brushes I keep right here. And then in the back in this dish, which is like just this little thing here, um, I keep extra face brushes and whatnot. So yeah, those are my brushes. Moving on right here, this is just a um, powder that I've been using to like add into my coffee for like wellness and stress and whatnot. So yeah, right here are just my liquid highlighters. And this is not really, I guess it wouldn't be marketed as a liquid highlighter. It's kind of like a, a primer. It's a face filter. It is shimmery, but you, it's not used the same as you would use these three products. In the back right here, I just have an extra pop socket, a foundation for when I tan. I don't know why that's right there. And then under that, I just have like extra ponytail holders. On to this thing here. This is kind of a catastrophe, but we're just going to roll with it. Um, <clears throat> lashes that I'm using currently, I just kind of keep on here. This is House of Lashes X Sephora in the style Marigold. These are really, really pretty lashes, and I believe they were like $10, $12. Obviously, I've used them before because they're coming off the thing, but these are really nice. Um, this is just an hourglass palette. I don't know why that's up there. <laughs> My Halo Beauty Kiwi. This I just started on, and it's really good. It's just like a, um... It's like a skin boosting vitamin. It's really nice. I don't know. I love it. Um, this is another vitamin. This is called the Super U by the brand Moon Juice. Um, this is really good as well. This is for like stress and wellness. I really like this. 
Um, these are just like foundation samples, little like powders and whatnot. This is another sage stick and this is like a horn. It looks like I'm sacrificing someone, I'm sorry. Um, this is just a horn from like um, a little ram statue I have that broke off, but that's okay, we put him there. These are just packs of spoolies, um, a little color switch, some CBD oil, and some Kat Von D um, eyeshadows back there, and a little pencil sharpener too. Mm. Going into the drawer here, let me move my remote. Into the drawer here, I keep um, a plethora of things. I have a few bronzers here. Um, I keep my, oh no, these aren't my glitters, but these are glitters. I have some glitters up here. I have blushes all right here. Like you think, you would think I have enough blushes, but this is not enough for me. Like all of these back here, the Morphe blush palettes, the Anastasia palettes, some Charlotte Tilbury uh, powders, uh, a Juvia's Place blush, and the, NAR the NARS Orgasm uh, Loose Powder Blush. This is a really, really good blush. <clears throat> Underneath here, though, I have highlighters out the wazoo. So, and I have a few bronzers. So these are new bronzers that I'm planning on using. Uh, these are the Wet n Wild bronzers. I have a Wet n Wild highlighter under this one. These are my Makeup Forever glitters that I adore and use constantly. You've seen me use a couple of these, a couple of these on my channel before. These are amazing. I'm Reezy, Cielo, Bobby Brown. All of my Skin Frost, I think that's what these are called, yeah. Uh, I can't think right now. Supreme Frost, sorry. Skin Frost are in my drawer. These are all the Supreme Frosts. Uh, I have some Fenty Matchsticks, which they're on sale right now, which is super cool. And then I have an Hourglass Highlighter. All right, moving on to this little pot of gold here. So this is kind of a mess because I have way too much stuff on here. I'm sorry, you can see my bed. <laughs> um, so I keep my loose powders right here. These are three of my loose powders. Um, normally I would just keep one in here, but these are new, so I'm trying to force myself to try them. Um, back here I have lip scrub and primers. Get in there. Lip scrub and primers, um, brow products in the back right here. Um, excuse me. Oh. Um, right here I just have some lip, some chapstick and lip stuff. And then I have a mascara, I mean, an eyelash curler, sorry. Um, right here I have my Stila Glitter and Glow, and I have my One Shimmer and Glow right here. My Tarte Glitter Pots, I don't really know what these are called. What are these called? Chrome Paints. Um, if it'll ever focus. There we go. Uh, Tarte Chrome Paints, these are really, really cool. And it's out of focus again. Don't you just love my camera, guys? All right. And then my Kat Von D brow pomades. These are my favorite things on this entire earth. I have a ton of different colors. I have a red, a yellow, a green, my purple, and then like regular brow shades. Except for bleach. Bleach is not a regular brow shade. Um, these are more primers back here. I have the Hydro Grip Primer by Milk that I just got yesterday. I have the Sicily Double Tensure Primer. This is way too expensive, but whatever. It works. Um, a ton of foundations. These are all new foundations for me to try out. These are old ones that I kind of love and hate. These are mixers for my foundations and an hourglass vanish stick foundation. So that is my desk in all of its glory. And then behind my desk is my box lights. This one's just turned sideways. My ring light and my other box light. So that is what I use to film. Moving into the drawers here. This is where things might get a little cray cray. So. 
in here I just keep lashes that I plan on using any any blah, 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 blah. God that I plan on using sometime soon. Um, I'm ordering like a drawer organizer. I just haven't found one I really really like yet. So excuse the chaos. My powders are here. These are just extra powders. I don't really use that often. I have highlighters in here. Um, most of this drawer is highlighters, but I do have a couple bronzers. This is a face powder. Um, I have a face powder for darker skin women for when I do other people's makeup. This is a powder as well. Um, these are all of my Supreme Frost highlighters from Jeffree Star. I have too many of them. These are just extra bronzers and blushes that I'm not really that crazy about right now, but they're here. I have a blush from Wet n Wild that I actually kind of really like. This is like a crazy color changing um, blush, but it's like a blue brown um, eyeshadow just in a giant pan. So, yeah. So that's the first drawer in my vanity. The second one is just like giant um, palettes and a few glitters back here. I have a uh, planner right here. I don't know why. This used to be on my display shelf as well, but I, like I said, it was a tight squeeze, so I took it out to put my Juvia's Place palettes because I just wanted them all in the same place. But this is a beautiful palette, especially if you want a lot of options. I'm sorry, these are so dirty, but this is fabulous and you can take them out and customize it as you go you can get refills this is amazing this is by lunatic lab cosmetics i love this they have a darker version of this too and it's really beautiful um this is a blush palette from morphe i have my face palettes right here i have a few of them here um this is just a really small eyeshadow palette that i keep in here for whatever reason and some more highlighting palettes these are all anastasia highlighting palettes and the last and final drawer um, is where I keep the rest of my eyeshadow palettes so these are all oops, except for this one these are all Morphe palettes right here um, this is an extra thing of lashes I keep special effects stuff in here sometimes so like glue and um, little coral sponges right here um, this is just an empty palette from Juvia's Place. It's an empty magnetic palette. You just stick magnetic shadows in here. Um, this is my electric palette from Urban Decay. Um, I like to keep like really bulky or like hard to display cases in here too sometimes. Um, so this is my Too Faced Life's a Festival palette. And this, yeah, Life's a Festival. Um, I have some more Kat Von D in here an extra androgyny palette down there this is just a sample of foundation some more uh um, another morphe palette um a profusion palette and these are extra jeffree star liquid lipsticks like backups and this is just an empty box so that is my bottom drawer and then this last drawer right here is where all my foundation goes to die so uh, not really but a lot of the foundation that I don't really like I have a problem with like getting rid of stuff or throwing stuff away especially when it comes to makeup so um, a lot of the foundations I don't like or don't use that often go in here um, also my foundation mixers go in here so I have a NYX one right here um, I keep all of my primer, well not all my primers, but all my setting sprays here and some of my primers. So like this primer is really dimethicone, the no, the no problem primer by Touch and Soul. It is a good primer, but it is very dimethicone. So it kind of, um, it kind of makes me really dry. Um, I don't really like dimethicone primers and a lot of my foundations, if not all of them are water-based. So this does not mix with my foundations. Um, I, if you want to know like how stuff mixes and whatnot, let me know and I can maybe do a video on like the whole ingredient list and how stuff's supposed to work and what your, your do's and don'ts basically for foundation and primer. Um, 
what else i have a cap on d primer in here i don't really know how i feel about this so yeah and then i loved this this is the uh neode photography fluid opacity 12 percent i loved this thing but it broke me out so bad it is so beautiful it gives you like a really luminous glow it's stunning i just don't know how i feel about it and then i have an eye makeup remover right here i like sometimes i like to keep q-tips in here just to clean up so sometimes i like to keep um q-tips in here so i can easily wipe away eye makeup um if i mess up or anything but my q-tips are currently in my kit because i just did a client so yeah that is my makeup collection i have way more coming in the mail um oh i keep my depri star um you can see everything hmm my bed is not made i'm sorry <laughs> um i keep my jeffree star uh, mirror right here and then right here i just have like a black light that doesn't really work but yeah um i have way more products coming in the mail so this will get updated i'm sure um but yeah for right now this is what i have so thank you so much for watching you guys um and i'll see you on the next one bye guys